Hey, Renovo friends, this is Kelly Calabrese, and today I'm here with Dr. Casey Porter of Elite Equine. Thank you, Dr. Potter, for being here. Absolutely, my pleasure. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about you and your practice. Um, we have a three doctor sports medicine practice here in central Colorado. We travel somewhere between 100 and 200 miles sometimes to clients. Um, but primarily all sports medicine um, with a lot of orthobiologics as far as our treatment therapies. Excellent. And um, you do lameness is something you specialize in? Yeah, lameness and sports medicine, yeah. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. And so tell us how you heard about Renovo. That's a good question, actually. I don't actually don't remember when I first heard about that. You know, I was talking with, actually, I do remember, I was talking with the, with the horseshoer who had, who had heard about this and was wondering about treatment of laminitis. And I was like, yeah, I, I didn't know. And so I contacted Christian. This is in the early stages. I think back when we were collecting some field data and um, talked to him about it quite a bit. And uh, we started using it and we use it uh, very frequently now. Excellent. Can you tell us about a couple of cases that you were impressed by? Um, so we, we have used it. Um, we've used it in a variety of situations. Um, in the joint, we've used it. Um, tendons, ligament injuries. Uh, we actually have used it in a regional limb perfusion, which for horses that, that we knew had, the owner did not want to do an MRI, um, didn't want to spend the money for that diagnosis. We knew the horse had had a soft tissue injury in the bottom of his foot. Um, it would block to there, um, no radiographic evidence of change. And so we're like, well, let's, let's try this and see if it works. We know that there's a soft tissue injury there in the back of the foot. And so we did, and the horse was sound within a matter of about two weeks, coming back to work within about three or four weeks. So um, that, in that case, the horse has not been sound for geez, three or four months before they brought the horse to me. So. And that's happened to us a couple of times. We've used it. Um, we use it a lot in collateral ligament injuries in the coffin joint. Um, that's actually, actually our go-to treatment for that. We see quite a few of those in our practice. Uh, I've had horses. I had three cutters all at the same time who all had meniscal injuries, four, men, four stifles between the three horses. And we treated all of them um, with Renovo. Uh, and those horses were back to work, I think, within eight weeks, which was pretty astounding. Wow. So are you using Renovo in place of some other um, biologics you were using prior? Yeah, so instead of using, actually, instead of using stem cells, we're actually using that preferentially. Okay, excellent. And we, and we have done that for, we have, have lots of instances where we've used stem cells or somebody else has used stem cells and still has, the horse still has a lesion. Um, we've come back and used Renovo and, and, and the horse begins the healing process. I have a horse like that right now where, they had done stem cell therapy on this horse a couple of times and um, unsuccessfully the, the, the um, ligaments still looked the same. Um, we put some Renovo in there and within two weeks, the ultrasound looked great. So it's, um, we use it a lot. Excellent. So what are some of the differences that you're seeing on the radiographs or some of the imaging that you're using with Renovo? Um, so like I said, so like I said, like that horse in particular, the ultrasound, the owner was pretty discouraged. The horse had been probably three or four months post-injury and had really hadn't seen much change on the ultrasound. Um, and once we, once we put the Renovo in, this horse had a, had a lateral suspensory branch injury and on a hind leg. And as soon as we did that, we rechecked the horse at two weeks and she's like, oh my God, it looks so much better. Even she could tell on the ultrasound. And the same thing with the meniscal injuries, like we could tell um, on the ultrasound that those horses' meniscus looked lots better um, just within that period of time. Wow. So for the veterinarians who have not yet tried Renovo or heard about Renovo, what would you say to them? So I think case selection obviously is, is important. Um, but there's really, not, I, in my opinion, there really hasn't been a downside to it in the sense that the horses that we've used it in have done very well. The only problem I think where people can kind of get in trouble is a horse that has a really reactive joint, uh, 
a really bad synovitis going on. Some of those horses will get a really bad joint flare post treatment, uh, but generally we'll quiet down within a couple of days. And then the only time where I've heard people getting in trouble, and they'll usually actually call me and, and ask me for my advice. And um, that's the only time where we've really had any had an issue with it. Um, we haven't really had any other issues other than that. Okay, excellent. So what have I not yet asked you about Renovo that you'd want to say? Gosh, not, nothing really. I think we covered most of everything that I wanted to say. I think the people out there that have not tried it um, in, as part of their treatment protocols, I think should really consider it in place of some of the orthobiologics that you currently use, um, even, even, even the stem cell therapy. Uh, we've, just had, we've just had way better luck, more consistent luck, I guess, and, and progress with Renovo than we did than we have with stem cells. So I would encourage everybody to, to try it. Really, like I said, we've had really good luck. We've had, we've had really good technical support for as far as questions go. Um, so yeah, try it. Excellent. Well, Dr. Prada, we appreciate your time. How can people find out more about you and what you're doing out there in Colorado? Um, they can go to our website, EliteEquine.net, um, and everything is on our website. All right, EliteEquine.net. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.